Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to be doing a plant chores video. I have a couple things I need to do with my house plants and I already kind of started doing some of them and then I'm like, duh, why don't I film a video? So we're going to just be doing some plant maintenance, probably some watering, just removing a lot of dead leaves <laughs> if we get to that point. I'm really bad about just like letting the leaves after they've yellowed just letting them be on the plant and it looks obviously terrible um so we're going to be doing that probably maybe a couple of other things i'm not even sure i do have some things to repot but i don't know if we will get to those today um yeah so if you guys are interested in this video definitely keep on watching if you guys could watch all the way through to the end that really helps me out and hit the like and subscribe button and leave a comment down below on what plant chores that you need to do that you've been putting off um, because I'm sure we can relate as in you'll see in this video because um, yeah I have been kind of really neglecting my plants for the last several months um, just kind of giving them the bare minimum to survive and now that I have some free time I'm trying to give them a little bit of extra love and attention and I'm like oh I didn't realize like how bad it had gotten so it's enough rambling let's get into the plants so this is what I was doing when I remembered that I was gonna film a plant chores video so I have this philodendron moonlight that I got from work and it's obviously looking very shit, but it did get out <laughs> this new leaf somehow. Um, but I'm just gonna, I watered it, and I'm just gonna cut off the bad leaves and um, just get rid of all of that. I mean, like this one even died, like as, like it didn't even push out a new leaf, it's just like dead, so. I don't know how to really cut that out without stunting the new growth, but I probably already succeeded with that. And I don't see any pests. This is just from like neglecting it since I got it. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna cut off for now. Maybe I'll give this a little bit more water. Cause I mean like it, it was completely dry. I probably have only watered it this whole time, once this whole time that I've had it. So let's just really saturate the soil. This could be a death sentence since I haven't watered it for so long. Um, like the, I might get dry rot or whatever, but we'll see. Oh my God. <laughs> I think it was trying to bloom. Can you see that? I'm gonna, let me see if you can see. Zoom. Zoom. <laughs> okay. You see this? That right there, that's pushed out of the, where the bloom would come from. Can you tell? That was, that was the bloom. I'm gonna pull it out cause it's dried. Yep, that was a bloom. Maybe a death bloom, <laughs> even though philodendrons don't really do that, but wow. That would've been cool to see. These, is, these are the reasons that you should not neglect your plants. So I have this plant stand that I had an Adansonia in that I just threw away, <laughs> which I did not film, but it was, horrible and I did not want to even pretend like I was going to fix it so I just threw the whole thing away. So 
I'm going to put this in there. Even though you can't see what I'm doing. Plant stand. Plant. It's still, pre it's still pretty wet. Maybe we should wait. So I don't have a saucer for this, do I? I don't have a saucer for it, so I'm just going to wait. But let's just double check to see if it even fits. Oh, yeah. It kind of sits low in there, but it's cute. And then maybe if I like display it nicely like this, you know, I'll care for it. And maybe it'll bloom again. Because that would be freaking cool. Okay, I'm just going to put it over here. Now let's throw away all these leaves. Obviously, you can compost this, but I'm not um, that far along in my life's journey that I actually compost plants. So, sorry about it. But in the summer, I do. They have like a trash or like a yard waste pickup thing that you can do. But, whoa. Sorry, guys. Now we're gonna come over here to this, to this little corner, and we're gonna shrink down. So I have this Sansevieria. Oh my god! I'm just trying to stab myself, you guys. Watch out. Okay. Safety third. Am I right? Um. Snake plant, Sansevieria, aka Drusina, aka mother in law's tongue, aka dead plant in the corner with this. I can't even break it off. <laughs> um, but I also got this plant from my work and hopes to save it. I did repot it and I cut off a bunch of like nasty bits but now the nasty bits are spreading I kind of wonder if it has some type of like a a fungal thing because it just has really weird spots so let me cut one out and show you guys I guess that doesn't really show it the best. Let's see this one. So, like this is this like where the problem started in this circle thing, and then it just like spreads. Um, gross. So this one has quite a bit of those spots. So I don't know if like there's like bacteria, like it's a bacteria problem or what it is, but yeah, I mean, it's just demolishing this plant, so. like it just starts in those circles and then just spreads so I just like need to cut it all out I don't know if that's bad or good to cut this plant like that but it's just gonna keep spreading because I've done this before I did this when I got the plant and it had those circle things on them, so I cut them all out. But now, they're just spreading and spreading. Maybe I should like spray it with something. I don't know. Like, look at all this. That's like most of the plant. <laughs> That's an exaggeration, but. You know what I'm saying. 
I'm just trying to rescue you. Stop trying to die. Okay. Sorry, you're really low right now, but I got this box um, in the mail just now and I haven't ordered a plant online in over a year because at the beginning of this past year, 2022, I decided that I was gonna do a no buy, which obviously did not go well, but I can say that I didn't purchase a plant through the mail for a whole year. So I mean, at least that's something, but I got this plant on like, what's his name, Derek? Something ditched with dirt or something on Instagram. And I got it on my birthday and so they gave it to me for free. I still had to pay for shipping and stuff. But that was still really nice of them because I said like, oh, happy birthday to me or something like that. And um, oh, and they wrote that on the card. Oh, this is like really wet. Plants with dirt. This is their little card. Um, and then it says like happy birthday on there or whatever. And like who packaged the plant. But it's like really wet in here. So here's the packaging. Um, and then the heat pack is down there. Still really warm. It kind of smells weird. Sorry if you can hear like people stomping around and talking. My mom just got here and I wanted to come down and film this quick so I could add it in with my video that I filmed today. Oh man, it's so small. Wow, it's much smaller than I thought. And it had like two leaves. The one I got. Um, <laughs> but here's the plant. This is a leaf and then it has this one unfurling, I guess. snapped you see that it completely snapped that sucks oh it's such a bummer and it's like completely snapped like there's no trying to stabilize it or whatever oh So here it is. <laughs> God, that sucks. I'm just gonna take it off. Cause I mean, it's so, it's so far gone. But there was no going back. It was way over half snapped. You can't see that, but it's fine. So It does have a really big chunk in here that looks like it was planted upside down. I don't know, this is a philodendron gloriosum. No, philodendron glorious, which has been on my wish list for a really long time. So, I mean, I'm glad I got one finally. Um, I'm glad it was free because like, what the heck, it broke. But I still paid like $20 in shipping. So, I don't know. I'm not gonna get that tape off, but at least it has one healthy leaf and I can definitely work with this. 
here in the next couple of weeks I am gonna repot it just to see. It doesn't feel like super root bound, like it definitely wiggles, but there is some resistance, so we'll see. God, that really sucks about this new leaf. Bummer. But I'm really excited and feeling good about at least having this so I can grow this into a big, beautiful plant someday. All right. I don't know when I'm gonna include this into my plant chores video or like where it's gonna be at, but yeah, my little new little plant. Peace. Okay, so, oh, my battery's dying, oh goodness. The next thing we need to deal with is this hot mess, okay? This is my philodendron, what are you? Adabapawensi Billy Hybrid that I got forever ago from Planty Queens. And I decided to cut it up again, again. Um, I don't even know, a couple of days ago. And I wanted to completely chop it up this time. So these three nodes are like rooted into the moss. And so I can't really just like pull them out unless I want to destroy the roots. So I want to take this out, um, soak it, uh, cause it isn't potted in moss. Cause that's what it was potted in when I got it. And I just never felt the urge to repot it, but I am feeling the urge to repot it into something else. So we're going to take it out of here, soak the moss, try to remove as much moss as possible and pot them up into soil. Fingers crossed. Maybe I'll leave one in moss just to see, but I don't really want to do that because moss is not like the best for like having a plant in long term. I mean, depending on the plant, sure, like if it's a begonia or something, but not like a philodendron that you're trying to grow, you know? Let me find a pot. Let's fill this up with some water. Let me... It's fine. I'll just clean the table again. No, I'm not going to do that. Let me get a something. Let me get a something. Okay. So... Let's just dump this out and... Hope for the best, I guess. Or can I just like pull it out? Oh, some of the roots are breaking. Okay, wow. Yeah, I broke some of the roots, some of the new roots, but you can't win them all or whatever they say. So this was in like a four inch pot for the longest time. And then when I moved here, I repotted it and put it on a pole, I think. So there isn't that much roof growth. So the majority of it is like in this four inch root ball. That's honestly pretty damp. Let me... Why didn't I just unfold this whole potting mat? I don't know what's wrong with me. And let's just dig in.
So obviously this was the best possible time ever to do this because this completely, this is the base. Like this is the bottom um, leaf and maybe it's just never had roots before. I don't know, but it definitely does not have any roots. So that's fun. I paused her for now. But I think I'm gonna put the one with two leaves in this pot because it doesn't have as many roots. And then this one here that's pretty well rooted or has the most roots, I'm gonna put in this pot. Um, I'm gonna have a little stake to help her stand up. I might need to mix up some more soil, so we'll see. Here's this one, and the second one. This one um, has two leaves because I didn't want to create a spent node. So I originally cut this plant here, probably well over a year ago I cut it here, and then it grew from this node. So it pushed out, this was its first push out leaf when I cut it. Um, so, there's an auxiliary bud here. Can you see that? I don't know. Um, so I didn't want to create a spent node, so I just stopped cutting while I knew I still had at least one node here. There might be more than one, but again, I just wanted to play it safe. And then there's this bottom node. That's so weird, it doesn't have any roots. Um, so I'm gonna be putting this in water, I guess, for now, and we'll see what happens. And I did not end up using the water because the root ball was already pretty wet. So I'm gonna dump this out, or I'm gonna water a plant. Okay, what else should we repot since I got the soil out? Let's do the duck. So here's the duck. This is a string of needles, the Sedgeparia or group, I don't know. So like this, it's related to the string of hearts, but instead of hearts, it's just like little needles, you can see. And then it has like maroon backs. So it's super long and traily, and it's in this duck because it's super cute. But I've had it in this duck since I went to my first plant swap, which was before I moved. So it's been in here for at least nine months, almost a year. And I'm just really worried that the roots have taken shape to the duck. And I don't wanna break the duck at this point. I'm willing to cut the roots before I'm willing to break the duck. So let's just see if we can get it out. I could be having anxiety over nothing, but yeah, let me get a stick. So I got this little tool. When I got these plants, plants, when I got these planters off Amazon, it came with like a couple little tools and a couple little um, plant tags. So let's just see if we can kind of shimmy this guy out of here. Okay, so 
so he's definitely coming out. Yay! So I did lose a couple roots that I broke off, but for the most part, it looks pretty good. And when I got this, it was like in one of those two inch pots. So I'm kind of surprised there's not like more roots, but especially for how long the plant is, but I'm okay with that. Now, what am I gonna put it in? I didn't think this through. I have this little terracotta pot that I think will be just fine. And I'm just gonna use the soil. <laughs> oh, it's so dry. I'm gonna give it a big drink. I wonder if I potted this in like cactus mix. Cause this is like not my regular houseplant mix. So maybe I had some cactus mix when I potted this up. I don't know. Cute little terracotta. Let's give this guy a little drink. So this guy has not bloomed for me, which is fine, but I just think it's kind of odd. I guess my regular string of hearts hasn't bloomed for me recently either, but it's kind of really looking shitty. So I'm not surprised by that. But this guy I think has been mostly healthy. Like I've never had a problem with it. I don't lose leaves, nothing. So. I don't know, maybe now, since I repotted it, I'll be a little bit happier. You guys, I've been filming for so long. What else do we need to do? Um, I don't know, I need to clean up this mess. Look at, look at that mess. <laughs> Let's look. Let's see. Oh, the snake plant looks so much better even though it has like no freaking leaves on it. I love my plants in my room. I love my Jose. Here, look at him. With that new leaf right there. Look at that. Big beautiful leaf. There are some things in here that definitely need to be done, but at the same time, I don't have energy for them right now. So, we might be done though. A lot of things I need to do in my grow tent, but we're not gonna go in there right now. There's a lot of dead leaves, a couple dead plants even. It's bad news in there, but I don't have the energy for it. So let's just go clean up my mess and then maybe we'll see what else we can do. What is happening right here? Now I need to find something else to put in my duck. Maybe I can just put a little propagation in here that I don't really care about. So, oh, oh no, what happened to my, oh. What? Oh, look at, <laughs> look at my gigas, or gigas, gigas. Look at that. What is that about? Like there's no leaf here. I don't know, maybe we need to chop this baby up. I'm not really prepared to do that today because I freaking love this plant just really because it's stunning, obviously, but it also like 
doesn't really need anything from me. But obviously it does because I freaking killed the new growth. What the hell? I'm just gonna put it back for now. Also, look at this flipping pot. Okay, if y'all are new here, you haven't seen this pot, but it's an epipremnum leaf that the ceramicist like sculpted from a true epipremnum leaf and then put it on this pot. Like it's incredible. I think their name is like Well Traveled Wares on Instagram. Maybe. Okay, let's clean up this mess. my head but I'm just gonna put this guy back where he was in his duck pot I could detangle him a little bit but I'm really against that <laughs> I like him tangled I really don't but these things man it's just it's kind of a little bit more bushy now. Just gonna put him back here. Yeah, here is your home. I really need to deal with this Hoya. It's so, it doesn't look terrible from that far away. I mean, but it has some like yellowing leaves. Like I'm losing the peduncle. Yep, it just fell off. The peduncle like turned and it's kind of a bummer. So not gonna get any more blooms from there. Probably has mealybugs on top of mealybugs because all of my Hoyas have mealybugs. Um, but that's fine. Should I wait to water these philodendrons? Because the moss was pretty damp. Maybe I'll just water them tomorrow because you know, one day will make a big difference. Not really, but it'll make me feel better. So where are we gonna put these guys? I have no room for anything anywhere. Okay, so I put one there, put the other one right there. I am in a weird mood today, but my mom is on her way here to visit us and yeah kind of for my birthday her birthday type thing she says she's coming for my birthday but i said you're coming for her your birthday um my birthday is the 12th her birthday is the 21st tomorrow even though i have to work tomorrow but it'll be fine um yeah so that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed coming around with me and doing some plant chores. It was probably really spazzy and, you know, whatever, but at least it's a video and it's something to edit and put out for you guys. Um, if you guys have any video suggestions or anything you want to see from me or like an update type of videos, even though I just posted an update video yesterday of like general plants. Of like my general collection but if you want something on like a specific plant or a specific genus just let me know put it down in the comments below and yeah that's gonna be it i will see you in my next video bye guys